Okay, welcome back to CP24 Breakfast. For many home buyers, the whole process comes with enormous anxiety. Mm -hmm. And especially with all the uncertainty ahead for the housing markets, taking a bit of a mental health check is really more important than ever. So joining us this morning now to talk more about this is Frank Leo, mortgage broker, a pretty recognizable name in the GTA real estate market. So Frank, thanks for joining mm -hmm. us this morning. There really is some anxiety, and I think it's really ramped up over the last year, particularly around mortgage rates and where house prices are going. If you're an owner, maybe they're coming down and you hope they would continue to go up. So what about this idea of taking a bit of a mental health check when you're checking the real estate pages too. Absolutely. I, I am a real estate broker, not a mortgage broker. So just to, to clarify, but mm -hmm. right. mortgages are very important. I think the big thing when you're looking at buying a property, it, the fear and the anxiety comes from the unknown. Mm -hmm. So if you know your steps, know what's going to happen next and prepare, then there's less anxiety. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about some of those tips you have for, you know, getting the knowing part down so that it lessens the anxiety. What are your tips for people uh, before they decide to buy a house? How do they mentally prepare? for that well the first step is a mortgage broker to mm -hmm. find out where you are um, qualified for how much money you can comfortably spend so that's the first step then it's knowing what areas you want and what are important to you um, and then the next step is really one of don't think you're alone in the process one big tip is very simple get a professional to help you a realtor there is no fee for the buyer, mm -hmm. so they can get someone who can tell them all the steps, help them, and give them their navigation system towards buying, so there's no surprises. And that's the thing, right? Because I think a lot of people maybe think, oh, I understand the housing market. I watch, you know, real estate programs or I'm really into it. I, but but there's so many things that can be behind the scenes here that can then start really playing on your mind. Having, a, I suppose, a professional real estate broker as, your, as like yourself can help you sort of understand this and take some of the nervousness out of it. Once you know what's going to happen, then you're not surprised anymore. So you can plan for it. So a little bit of knowledge is good, but if, if you don't... Uh know the rest of the story then you get into stress and surprises so you don't want any surprises mm -hmm. and the way you avoid that is by knowing ahead of time what's going to happen therefore you have no problems and also there's some things that you have no clue about for example maybe you know uh, location or, or, or uh, added value or type of property that's more valuable as an investment in the future so you're buying a home for your family but as a realtor maybe you're gonna get some advice on your investment so then when you're ready to sell down the road mm -hmm. you're gonna make a better return yeah. mm -hmm. and what's the best step for picking a good you know realtor a real estate agent because a lot of people might be like oh there's so many out there I get all these flyers in my mailbox saying they sold this home that home you know it looks great how do you pick the right one that is a great question because you know you know, there's a lot of realtors. There's over 70,000 in wow. the you know, Toronto Real Estate Board. So uh, the key is just to do some steps. And we, we actually have a checklist that we give our clients to, to search. And there's different ways that you can find out, you know, who to choose. And that's probably the best investment that as a, a client can make is to uh, a buyer, look at the realtor you're going to use. So once you have the right person helping you, then you don't have to worry about anything mm. else, right? But there are some valid questions. One of them is, you know, how long you've been doing the, in the business? Are you full time? You know, uh, how, do you, how well do you know the area? Mm -hmm. uh, are you, you have any other contacts like home, home inspectors and, and all the other uh, affiliates towards buying a home? And just Frank, how much more anxiety are you seeing in buyers and sellers right now? And has it changed over the last sort of two or three years? Well, there's more anxiety because uh, with the mortgage rates increase, when people have to renew, those are the people that are getting the anxiety because they're locked into a, a previous rate and that's going to change once there's a renewal. So we're seeing some anxiety, but there are some, some possible solutions to that. So if someone has those problems, you know, reach out uh, well in advance so we can plan and hopefully uh, remove any, any stresses before they happen. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah, you kind of need a team of professionals and then you need your emotional support team in, in the that's form right. of friends, family, a spouse. There's a a lot All involved in the home, yeah, you know. For sure. And you know, if anybody has any questions, I mean, you know, ask them on, you know, on our website, getleo.com. We're happy to to answer anything that they may have. Frank Leo, thanks mm -hmm. for joining us this morning, helping put some people's minds at ease when it comes to real estate. Thanks for the Thank time. Thank you for today. having me. Thank you, Frank. Okay, Thank you. Yeah.